Should you invest in a one bedroom or a studio? If you've been thinking of investing in Dubai real estate, I'm sure you would have asked yourself this question. In this video, I'll be breaking down which is the better investment, including looking at supply, demand, rents, sales prices, and capital appreciation. So first of all, let's look at supply. Prior to making any investment, you should know the unit mix of that particular building. What I mean by this is what is the breakdown of one bedrooms and studios. The reason why this is so important is because it will give you a clear idea if there's an undersupply or oversupply of any particular unit type. If I use Bay Central, which is located in the Dubai Marina, I know there's a total of 748 units. Of these, one bedrooms make up 484 units or 65% of the total supply. Whereas studios make up 89 units or only 12% of the total supply. So what this does straight away, it tells me there's a massive undersupply of studios compared to one bedroom units. This makes the proposition of investing in a studio a lot more interesting compared to a one bedroom. If you want more insider tips like where to find the unit mix, sign up to my weekly newsletter on the link below or if you want a private conversation, please feel free to book in a call so we can source you the best investment. So before I look at the rents and the sales prices, let's now look at demand. For example, in the Dubai Marina, we know lots of the demand comes from tourists. And if you're a tourist who's looking for an Airbnb type property, you're probably going to want a one bedroom over a studio. Because if you're going to pick a studio, you could probably stay in a hotel, for example. And if we look at long-term residents, the main issues with studios are the fact there's a quicker turnover of tenants. For example, I've been in my one bedroom property in the Dubai Marina for almost three years. Whereas if I first rented a studio, I would have probably moved out by now because I would have looked for more space. So this is something you should keep in mind. So let's look at rents. Obviously renting a studio is going to be cheaper than a one bedroom, but by how much exactly? So a studio rents for roughly 80,000 dirhams, whereas a one bedroom rents for roughly 100,000 dirhams. So this means one bedroom properties rent for 25% higher when comparing it to studios. So now let's look at the sales data. A studio will cost you approximately 1 million dirhams, whereas a one bedroom property will cost you 1.5 million dirhams. So this means the cost of buying a one bedroom compared to a studio is roughly 50% greater. And when you consider the fact the rents are only 25% greater, investing in a studio for this particular building makes the most financial sense. And this is further highlighted when we look at the yield. The yield for a studio is 8%, whereas for a one bedroom, it's only 6.7%, meaning a studio in Bay Central is the better investment. However, it's worth mentioning, this is one particular building and it doesn't mean that's the case for every other building in Dubai. There's actually other factors such as capital appreciation, which we need to consider. For example, the reason why the sales prices for a one bedroom are so much greater is because they've had greater capital appreciation. And this is a massive factor you do need to consider if you are thinking of investing in Dubai. Usually, the larger the property, the greater the capital appreciation, and this is exactly what we can see. Therefore, even though you might get a better yield with a studio, usually the capital appreciation outweighs for a one bedroom. Also, you need to factor in the higher frequency void periods which studios sometimes have. So which is the better investment, a studio or a one bedroom? Well, if you can only afford a studio, go with a studio. If you can afford either a studio or a one bedroom, go with a one bedroom. If you can afford either two studios or only one one bedroom, then go with two studios. So that is how you should pick whether to invest in a one bedroom or a studio. And if you want to find out whether you should invest in apartments or villas, watch this video here and don't forget to like and subscribe.